Hi Krishna. Not that you're muted. Hare Krishna, Ramchandra welcomes. Now Suraj is going to sing until Mataji comes, maybe two or three times. Hare Krishna. Mataji. Or Bukun. Bukun is not there. Suraj, we said he will come and yeah. Only for Mataji, my mom is going to sing. Yeah. I'll sing Hare Krishna normal tune. Tune. You can play slow only. I need the other uh, strap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also. Yeah. Namo Jagannatha Sutayu, Namo Jagannatha Sutayu, Namo Jagannatha Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. So we have Samskriti, Sura, Jagadish, Driti, Raya Prahlad, Krishna Nena, Dhruba, Ramachandra, Ojaswi, Kabir, and Kushi. Hi Krishna everyone and Balavrinda. You didn't say my name. Yeah, because and name. Balavrinda. <laughs> okay, it's so nice to see you all and thank you Suraj for the wonderful praying, playing of Nadanga. So next time I'll see that you are say you are 
singing also and playing also. Soon you will develop that. I believe it's quite difficult. Now we should just try. At least we should just try lip sync and then slowly it will start coming up, right? Then Hare Krishna Balaram. Okay. So, um, uh, Vinita Gandharvika Mataji? Yes, Mataji. So now it is springtime there, almost. Yeah. Yes, they were saving on Mon next uh, Sunday, like this Sunday, this Sunday. Yeah. This yeah, Sunday, huh? From Friday, I think we have spring break here. For Vrinda, I don't know, each kids have different. Different times. Ask the children in Govinda what time they are. No, I have it from Sunday. Okay, 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 okay. So what we'll do is we'll quickly go to our screen. Okay, I'll just start sharing. Okay. Okay, I don't know. Something has happened and the screen has turned like this. Everybody is able to see it properly? The screen? Yes, Mataji. I think you covered the entire thing with this. And also, I think you're not in present mode. Yeah, I know. I don't keep it on present mode. So, this is okay, right, for everyone? Yes. Hare Krishna, Mataji. This is Mukund. Mm -hmm. Hi, Krishna Mukun. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll start with our prayers. Okay, everyone together. Okay, we all can start. Jnana Tirma Randas Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Vilitam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Namaha Mama Krishna Pada Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Ramine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nirvishesha Shunya Vadi Vastyakti Deshitari Okay, so nobody else was saying the prayers or you're saying on mute? Oh, I was saying it. I was saying it on mute. Mataji, sorry. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll quickly go with our words for this week. Okay. Who wants it? Ramachandra, you want to go ahead with this verse? Sure, Mataji. Rayena Paisha Sabya Kalavas Minyu Gejanaha Mandaha Sumanda Mataya Manda Bhagya Hupadrutaha. Very good. Then Mukun, go ahead. Yes, Mataji. Ryan Alpaya Sabya Kalavas Minyu Gejana Manda Sumanda Mataya. Nanda Bhagya Hupadrita. Thank you, Mataji Hare Krishna. Yes, Samskriti, go ahead. Shasapya Kalavasmin Yuge Jana Manda Sumanda Matyo Manda Bhagya Hupadrita. Very good. Thank you, Mataji. Hi, Paul. Balavrinda. Yes, Mataji. You want to say this verse? Yes, Mataji. Prayera Bayosha Sabya Kalo Asmin Yoga Jana Manda Samanda Mataya Manda Bhagya Very good. Very good. Advais? Advais okay. Balram. Yeah, go ahead. 
Yes, Balaram. Very good, very good. Driti, Driti, Druba, uh, I need some help. No, I can do it. Yeah, Druba and then the Driti. Yes, Druba, go ahead. Okay. Prayan la pashup shabaya kalav ashmin yuge jana manda sumanda matayo manda bagya hi upaduta. Very good, Hari Bol. Yes, Driti, you, you, you want to repeat after me? Okay. Prayan al pashup shabaya. Prayan Prayena, Prayena, Alpa Yusha Sabaha, Alpa Yusha Sabaha, Sabya, Sabya, Kalavasmin, Kalavasmin, Yuge Janaha, Yuge Janaha, Manda, Manda, Sumanda Matayo, Sumanda Matayo. Manda Bhagya. Hare Krishna, I can't uh, hear you. Now it is good. I can hear you. Manda Bhagya. I can press uh, uh, the audio button. Upadrita. Upadrita. Very good. Okay, then uh, who is this con Baltimore? Jagdish Kabir Krishna Nena, who wants to go ahead? Please raise your hands. Oh, just me. There are so many Iskon Baltimore people. Yeah, okay. Kabir, go ahead. Brian, uh, wait. Brian, uh, Pius. I can't get the two. Brian, Alpa. Brian. Prayen alpa yu sabya kala vasmi nyuge jana manda su manda matayo manda bhaga yup yupadrita very good Manji. yes suraj go ahead Ryan Alpayusha Sabia Kalo was Minyuge Jana Manda Sumanda Matayo Pamanda Bag Ya Ahiapatrita. Very good. Then we have Krishna Nena. Krishna Nena, are you there? Okay, Kavya, go ahead. Just Mataji, I'm here. Okay, Krishna Nen is here. Okay, go ahead, Krishna Nen. Prayan Alpayusha Sabya Kalavasmin Yuge Jana Manda Sumanda Matayo Manda Bhagya Hyo Padruta Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hi, Krishna. Yes, Kavya, go ahead. Prayan Alpa you sab sabha kalav asmin yuge janaha mandas sumanda mateo manda bhagya upadrutaha thank you mataji upadrutaha very good yeah so did we have everybody who went ahead with this verse ojasvi did you say it no mataji i did not say it who did not say it? Shriyan. Yes, Shriyan. Go ahead. Prayen al push payusha sabhya kalav vashmin yuge jana manda sumanda matayo manda bhagya hiyubhadrataha. Okay, very good. Okay, did everybody get to say it? Or did I miss anyone? Ojasvi? 
राय प्रहलाद यस माता जी ये साये नाल साये नाल पायशो पायशो सप्या खला वस्मन्यु के जना हा मंडा हा सुमंडम मातयो मंड बाग्या उपाद्रिता हा थैंक यू माता जी हरी बोल ओके देन राय प्रहलाद आयु देर खुशी राय प्रहलाद ओके इट मस्ट बी देर आउट ऑफ प्लेस मुकुंद डिड यू से इट यस माता जी ओके ओके सो एवरीबॉडी इज डन राइट सो वी कैन मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ओके सो नाउ what are we doing for the past week anybody wants to tell me shrimad bhagavatam third the second yes. canto and the incarnation yes canto second and what specifically are we doing in this how did we saw the ambaraha incarnation incarnation yeah we're doing the incarnation very good so we are looking at the incarnations and you know what like if you see there are maybe two incarnations three incarnations which are covered in a day right normally it would have been okay like one incarnation in the whole story so now you know what like when you are doing your uh, suppose you are doing your math okay your subject math in your school i just want you to know what is the uh, you know what is the uh, reason or what are the main things that we are going to learn in these chapters so i just wanted from you all suppose now you are doing your uh, math okay when you were in your first grade i'm just going to stop share over here for a few seconds okay when you were in your first grade you learned the, can you all is it possible for you all to come on video whenever whoever is possible I love seeing you all. I love Shreyan. Love seeing Shreyan, Kavya, Samskriti, Suraj, Balavrinda. Others I am not able to see. Then I see Kabir, Rai Pralad. Very nice. Thank you so much for coming on video. Whoever else is okay to come on video, you are okay. you are more than welcome. Okay. So now see when you learned your uh, like addition operation in your first grade, right? we learn how to do addition in first grade then when we go in second grade you doing it right balavrinda very nice so when we go in second grade also you are learning yeah you are learning your uh, how to do additions right when you go to third grade again there is some additions in that right and as it goes like when you go to your sixth grade seventh grade you no more do it like okay 2 plus 2 is 4 or 24 plus 24 you don't do it like that right but then you use those operations in your division in your integers and all those like higher math as you go right that means these the what is the purpose of learning that uh, those operations like addition subtraction what was the purpose of using them of what was the purpose of learning them mata ji it's like it's like while doing like division and multiplication like, higher stuff mata ji it's like building box without the foundation you can't uh, put any uh, building awesome. box or anything awesome 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 right so exactly see now when the incarnations are mentioned every time now we know okay the incarnation stories we know we know that the lord has incarnated now as a higher study when it comes as the shrimad bhagavatam and the higher study now you have to know that these incarnations they were just it was the need of the hour that the incarnations were done and now when you are studying this we are going to try to find out what was the exact teaching that the lord has given through these incarnations okay so as you are learning these incarnations as you every day when there are one or two incarnations which are done try to see what are the functions which are associated with it or what was the uh, you know teaching that the lord has passed on through this so just give it a different perspective when you are learning this okay i just wanted to emphasize that and that is the reason we went with it okay so now 
which incarnation is this? Mataji, this is the um, what, um sorry. What is his name? Rishikesh. Mataji, is it Rishikesh? I agree, oh, I agree. I agree. I agree. Right. And what are the peculiarities? That is the face of the horse. Right? Horse. The of the Lord. I don't know and why, but some people will say it's a donkey. It's a horse incarnation. Okay. The horse incarnation of the Lord. Now, I just wanted to see. Uh, Mamukud, can you read it for us? Yes, Mataji. Hi, Griva is an incarnation of the Lord Vishnu with the head of a horse and a human body of brilliant white color. He is worshipped as Gyanishwarupa, embodiment of all spiritual growth, knowledge, and wisdom. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So, as we go ahead, when we are learning about these incarnations, like what does that incarnation stand for? Okay. So, this incarnation is the the color of uh, the body of uh, this incarnation is its brilliant white color and it is also known as the Gyanas Varupa or this Varupa which imparts knowledge. Okay, so um, Ramachandra, can you read this for us? Mataji, for some reason in this a picture, he looks like a pig. One of the versions is that Vishnu revealed the Vedas to Brahma at the time of creation. Realizing the power of these Vedas, two demons, Madhu and Kaitaba, stole the Vedas from Brahma and hid them at the bottom of the ocean. When Brahma sought Vishnu's help to retrieve the sacred text, Vishnu took the Hayagriya form, killed the two demons, and returned the Vedas to Brahma. Right. So, this this form of the lord is that he is imparting the vedas back to the back to lord brahma so as we have seen that the whole knowledge of the universe is like is imparted by lord uh, vishnu to lord brahma through different form right we have seen that he has imparted it in the one second okay let me just sit from here. yeah so the knowledge which was passed on to Lord Brahma was through the flute when the Lord played his flute and then the Lord passed on all the knowledge uh, uh, to Lord Brahma. Now this knowledge in the form of Vedas when it was stolen by the demons okay every now and then we have seen that the demons have some way or the other they have tried to steal the Vedas they have tried to steal the heavenly planets and all sorts of uh, things when they have done the Lord has to take up different forms in which he has seen that the uh, balance of the world is always maintained. Right. So now in this Hayagriva form, what is the main essence of this Hayagriva form is that he is the embodiment of knowledge. And as the act also which is done is that this form of the Lord, this incarnation of the Lord got the Vedas which were stolen by the, uh, by the demons. Madhu and Kaitaba when they stole it and they went into the deep ocean to hide it from uh, the world. And that time the Lord had to take that form and he had to return these Vedas back to Lord Brahma. Okay. Krishna Nena, can you please read this? Okay. Kabir, yes, can you please read? Are you there, Krishna Nena? Yes, Mataji, I'm here. Okay, go ahead. The Vedas provide the knowledge by which we can understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ved Vedish Chisarvair Aham Eva Veda. Vedish Chisarvair Aham Eva Veda. Bhagavad Gita 15.15. The devotees of the Lord are always ready to spread knowledge by which one may understand the Lord through Krishna consciousness. But the demons bring unable to understand the Supreme Lord are full of ignorance and passion. Thus, the Lord who, 
whose form is, is transcendental, is always ready to kill the demons by culturing the mode, the mode of goodness. One can understand the position of the transcendental Lord, and how, and how the Lord is always prepared to remove all obstacles on the path of understanding Him. Very good. Yeah. Like this. Now, with this, when see when the Lord incarnates in a specific form, what is the verse which comes to your mind? Which is the verse from the Bhagavad Gita which comes to our mind that whenever there is anything wrong which is going on, that the Lord descends? Yada yada he. Yes. So see, this is what this is what you want when it is Srimad Bhagavatam that you're learning. Try to apply what you have learned. Okay. Just don't take it as a story. Try to apply what you have learned. See, like whenever there is any problem in the universe, it is always that the Lord descends in order to maintain the balance, in order to maintain the justice in the world, right? Kabi, do you want to repeat? Do you want to say this verse? Okay. Oh, I know this. Yada yada dharmasya ganya bhavadi varata abhyutham and dhanamasya tadatmanam shi janyaham. Very good. Okay. So this is what is the main essence of the of the incarnations is that whenever there is anything wrong going on or whenever there is anything which is going on uh, apart from uh, um, dharma, the Lord will always descend so that he can maintain that balance. Driti, you want to say something? Okay. Um, you want to say the shloka? You want to say the shloka? Okay, go ahead, Driti. Yada, 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 hi dharmasya, glana bhavatu bharata, abhyutama na dharmasya, taradma dharmasya jamyaham. Very nice. Okay. Okay. So, this was about the Hagriva uh, form or the incarnation which the Lord took. Then the next which is mentioned in our second canto, seventh chapter in the twelfth verse is about the fish incarnation of the Lord. We all know about the fish incarnation of the Lord? Yes. Okay. Samskriti, can you please read this for us? Yes, Mataji. At the end of the millennium, the world would be the Vasvatumanu Manu of the name Satyavrata would see the Lord in the fish incarnation. It's a shelter of all kinds of entities. But to those in the earthly planets, because of my fear of the vast water at the end of the millennium, the Vedas came out of my Brahma's mouth and protect and the Lord, the Lord enjoys those vast waters and protects the Vedas. Very good. See, now again in this form also that the Vedas had to be protected. We all know the story. So the Vedas had to be protected and the Lord took the form of the fish incarnation. Okay. Now, apart from uh, this, this story, we know that it has... Okay, somebody wants to tell us it in short. Balaram, are you there? Or anybody wants to go ahead with the story about the fish incarnation? In a quick... Can I say this is Mokon? Yes, Mokon, go ahead. I don't remember the, all the names, but um, there was one Rishi one time, a very great Rishi. And there was this... Um, uh, he was a Maharaj before, and then when he was doing like some morning rituals in the river, then one um, small fish came inside the water that he was holding and it told please don't throw me in the water there are big fishes which will eat me so that's why then um the said uh, after listening to his request it um it agreed to keep it as like a pet so that it can be safe and then first it just put it in a small um small pot and then uh, overnight the fish grew really large and then after many nights, the um, fish just keep, um, kept on growing larger until it couldn't 
even fit in a whole lake. So he had to put it, put them in the ocean. Then uh, Machi Avatar um, told him that there will be annihilation after seven days. I, I think seven days. And then you have to take all plants, all um, all trees, all sub, uh, subterraces, and all those on uh, on a boat and come on the waters. And then I will um, and then I will take you to safety. Yeah. So so what this this again the incarnation of the Lord in this form is. What what do you think was the main uh, main motive of this incarnation? Saving his devotees. Saving his devotees. What else? Protecting him. Okay. So, one second. Okay. I just want you all to read something. Which I had opened it up for you. Okay. So, see, this form of the Lord, what it is, is mainly that everybody is able to see the screen? Oh, no. I okay. No? Okay. Okay. Forget it. Okay. Maybe share screen. Yeah. Now it should be okay. Right? Now it's okay, right? Everybody is able to see this? It's still loading. Oh, yes, yeah. Now I can see. Okay. Okay. Okay, so see at the end of each uh, at the end of each millennium or at the end when there is the new incarn new formation, it is always that the you know uh, wait 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 let me just go with this yeah see this was the story which Mukun had just narrated okay so how the Lord took the fish incarnation so that the Saptarishis the plants, the animals, which could when there is the annihilation of the world, right? So the next yuga, when it starts, it had to start with the Saptarishis, the Vedas. And that was the reason that the fish incarnation took place so that the humankind or the world could continue into the next millennium, into the next uh, form or next uh, yuga which was to start. So that means see, like, what does the Lord tell us is that whenever there is anything wrong going on, whenever there is anything adharma going on, that time the Lord will uh, incarnate and he will help out to, uh, to keep the balance in the whole world but at the same time the lord also takes up see over here as soon as the uh, as the fish came as promised manu used vasuki as a rope to tie my horn to the ship and it and it bellowed loudly over the roar of the rain and this what what did this do because of this the animals the saptarishis the the plants the vedas they all could be passed on to the new yuga that means the lord not only takes care that in this millennium in this world in this uh, yuga wherever you are staying in that also he helps us but the lord in the fish incarnation form he has also taken care that whatever had to be preserved for the next yuga that was also passed on through the fish incarnation let me see if there is something else i had add with this i just wanted you all to read something <laughs> okay yeah this that, that's it so many of us know the stories of all these incarnations now. So whenever you are reading, okay, tell me how many of you are reading the Srimad Bhagavatam as and when we are finishing that story. Like suppose now this is Canto 2, Chapter 7, Verse 11 and 12. Can we at least read it when we are done, at least in that week? Sure. If you read it, you will just get an insight of what exactly each and every incarnation of the Lord had as a functional part. Okay, and what was the scheduled incarnation functioned for. So today we have covered these two. 
and then we can move on to the further of our reading of the back to godhead magazine let me see if i've opened it up for you okay yeah Are you able to see this? How do how, how do I have a screen? Is it that which is screened? What do you see on the screen? Let me see. Back to God. Back to God. Head. Perfect. 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 I thought I had some other screen on. Okay. So how to identify an avatar? Okay. We'll start to read this. Yes, Kabir, you, you want to start it? Okay. Uh, from there? Okay. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, um, the, the Vedic li literatures composed by the omniscient Mahamuni Vasudeva are evidence of all spiritual existence. Only through these revealed scriptures can all conditioned soul attain knowledge. Yeah, go ahead. We should always think that we are in, are in the mode of ignorance. We are just trying to make progress from ignorance to goodness and then transcend. This is the process of spiritual realization. We should not think that we are perfect. We cannot be. God is only perfect. Only God is perfect, and we are all imperfect. Even in our so-called liberated stage, we are still imperfect. Therefore, one has to take shelter of authority because constitutionally we are imperfect. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you so much, Kabir. Okay, Raya Pralan. Raya Pralan, do you want to read this? can unmute yourself okay samskriti can you read this we'll wait for april then he's done yes mataji lord chitanya says ama saba jeeve haya sastra yeah. yeah. For real knowledge, we have to consult the scripture Shastra. Sadhu Shastra Guru. Sadhu means a pious, religious, honest person. One whose character is spotless is called a sadhu. Shastra means scripture. And Guru means a spiritual master. They are on, they are on an equal level. Why? Because the central point is scripture. The guru is considered liberated because he follows the scripture. The sadhu is considered honest and saintly person because he follows the scripture. Nobody can become a sadhu if he does not accept the principles of scripture. And nobody can be accepted as a guru or spiritual master if he does not follow the principles of scripture. This is a test. Very good. Okay, then uh, ba Balavinda, can you read this? Yes, Badaji. Two understood these things, Prabhas, one should happily approach with it. One should happily approach with firewood in hand of a spiritual master who is learned in Vedas and flip devotees to the absolute truth moon okay that's okay you can mukunda uh, munduka uh, upanishad munduka upanishad 12 to 12 1.2 Point twelve. Shota means that one who has accepted the Vedic ritual, the Shastras, as the guide. Guide can be a guru, not a 
extravagant extravagant upstart who makes some group a really just principle of his own very good then yes krishna nana go ahead okay mataji Sanatana Goswami had asked Chaitanya Mahaprabhu how to know who is an avatar. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that medium for understanding is Shastra, and that direction direction is the Guru. Sometimes we find a contradiction in the scripture, and that is not a contradiction. That is our poor. Fund of knowledge. I cannot understand. Therefore, the assistance of a guru, a spiritual master, is required. Here, Lord Chaitanya said, says that we have to see through through the shastra whether a person is an incarnation or not. We should not blindly accept anybody as an incarnation because nowadays there are numberless incarnations. Right. Thank you, okay. Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hi, Krishna. Yes, Ojasvi. Yes, Mataji. In the next verse, he says, "Avatara nahi kahe, ami avatara muni sabat." Jani Kare Takrinavichara. An actual incarnation of God never says I am God or I am an incarnation of God. The great sage Yasudeva, knowing all, has already recorded the characteristics of the avatars and the shastras. This is another significance of the incarnation. The incarnation never says I am the I am an incarnation of God. I have read a book about a big avatar in India. He was canvas. He was canvassing his students. Do you now accept me as an incarnation? Do you now do you now accept me as an incarnation? And his disciple was denying no. And after a time, the disciple said yes, I accept. You. This is all over, right? Driti. This is not an avatar. Here, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that an avatar does not canvas. Similarly, the guru does not canvas. The sadhu does not canvas auto automatically. By his qualities, he becomes accepted. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Raya Prahlad, are you able to unmute yourself? Are you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Those who are thinkers, Muni, see the symptoms and specify. Specify, yes. Here is an avatar. How are the Symptoms of an avatar analyzed. The first symptom is that there is a reference in the Shastra scripture that is in the and such time, such as such personality will come. He will be an incarnation of God. Even his father's name is birthplace. Everything is written in the scripture. We have a identify by Lux. Lux you come like this and you'll act like this. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Mataji. Okay, then who is it next? Please? Shreyan, can you do this for us? Yes, Mataji. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never said, I'm an avatar, but from his symptoms, from, from his characteristics, Later on, great sages, great philosophers decided that he's an avatar. Can you keep reading? Here, Sanatana Goswami is trying to get Lord Chaitanya to confirm that he is an avatar. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, the same time, in the Srimad Bhagavatam 11.5.32, 
the symptoms of the avatar for this age kali yuga are described krishna varnam tusha krishna sangopastra no sangopangastra prashada parshadam he, he is the category of krishna but his complexion is non black a krishna he is always followed by confidential mm, associates and people who are intelligent worship him by the process of sankirtan yag yagna sankirtan prayer yajanti hi shumadesha shumadesha means person who have got good brain good brain substance oh thank you sir okay then we have jagdish are you there suraj no foolish person so made the so a man of great brains of instincts can understand oh there is an incarnation of krishna lord uh, chaitanya's appearance is spoken in about the shrimad bhagavatam in the mahabharat in the upanishad in the puranas there are many symptomatic explanations but uh, still there are many fools who do not accept these authoritative statements Dhruba Yes Radhiki can you read this okay accept or not accept god's work and activities and characteristics will be known because god will be known lord buddha for example is accepted as an as an incarnate incarnation in the shrimad bhagavatam emperor ashoka par- patronized buddhism so buddhism was broadcast throughout india and practically the whole of far east and most people in these place in these places became buddhist but practically practically the whole of india became buddhist during ashoka's time but later on tanka chaitra drove against buddhism and he wanted to establish the difference between buddhism and hinduism lord buddha did not accept Vedic authorities. Mm-hmm. Yes, Kavya. Yes, Mataji. Go ahead. Kavya. Vedic authority. According to Hindu culture, if somebody does not accept the Vedic authority, uh, then he's he- not an authority authority there is different parts of parties in india generally two parties the mayavada philosophers and the vaishnav philosophers or the impersonalities and the personalities ultimately the mayavadi mayavadi uh, philosophers say that god the supreme absolute truth is impersonal and the vaishnava philosophers say the ultimate end the absolute truth is a person the supreme personality of godhead krishna krishna's two bhagavan swayam very good bhagavatam 1.3 28 thank you mataji krishna nena did you read it yes mataji okay so those who have read raised hands have read it balaram okay mataji this is a little difference between the two groups in the stick to their positions and fight by mean by philosophical arguments that has been going on for a very long time but both of them belong to the sanatana eternal hindu dharma because both of them will talk on the vedanta philosophy they give different interpretations but they cannot say 
we don't accept Vedanta. Oh, then, then the view is at once rejected. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Ramachandra, did you read? No, not at all. Okay, go ahead, Ramachandra. Okay. One must give an interpretation on the Vedanta on the Vedanta philosophy, then you will be accepted as an Acharya. Three things, Vedanta philosophy, Bhagavad Gita, and Srimad Bhagavatam. One must be able to explain these three books, and then he'll be as accepted as an Acharya. These are the principles. Recently, impersonal, impersonalists have also accepted Krishna. Sankara Acharya accepted Krishna. He's, he said, Sabhagavan, Bhagavan, Sayam Krishna. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. People may have misunderstood that Krishna may be some other Krishna because the president, the present followers of Shankaracharya are interpreting that way. But Shankaracharya, just to specify Krishna, said Devaki Vasudeva Jataha. Vasudeva Jataha. This means Krishna who appeared himself as the son of Devaki and Vasudeva. Vasudeva. That Krishna. Thank you so much. Okay, Ojasvi, did you read? Okay, yes, yes, I think. Yes. Who has not got a chance to read? Kavya, did you read? Yes, Mataji. Okay, I'm just going to lower all the hands. Okay, who has not read yet? Mataji, I didn't read. I did not read. Okay, oh, Mukund also did not read. Yes, Advait, go ahead. Mataji, even Raya Prahlad didn't read. Okay. No, Raya Prahlad read, I guess. No, Raya Prahlad, you didn't read? What, okay. Mataji? Advait, start reading. Okay. Sankar, Sankar Charya has a nice prayer to Krishna. The present followers of Sankar Charya cannot say that this is not composed by Sankar Charya. It is very famous. Baja Govinda, Baja Govinda, Baja Govinda, Buddha Mate, Pate, Sanita. Hey, Bull. Advait, are you there? Marty, did you hear me? Yeah, the last two lines of the verse, we couldn't hear you. Oh. Nita Kale Murane Nahi Nahi Rakshati Dukarina Karakarani. Hi, Bola is there? Ashutosh Ashutosh Light Ashutosh Light. Yes, yes. Um, Advait, can you read? Mataji, I just read. Yes, this part. You just read oh, a little. Okay. I want to read a little bit more. Sankar Acharya had made many prayers about Krishna, especially about his Vindavana pastimes. He has worshipped Krishna in many ways. And this is the last composition of his portrait. Baja Govinda, Baja Govinda, Baja Govinda, Buddha Mate. You fools. You mud, Buddha Mate. Buddha Mate means you fool. He was addressing the whole world, you fools, Baja Govinda. Very good. Uh, yes, Mukul, can you read it? Just become a devotee of Krishna. Just become Krishna conscious. Prapti Sanyati Kalem Marane Nahi Nahi Rakshati Dukren Karane. You're philosophizing. You're talking on grammar in this way and that way. Such people want to establish impersonalism from Bhagavad Gita by the strength of grammar. This is nonsense. They want to understand God through grammar. God is so cheap that he cannot be un he can be understood through grammar. Therefore, Shankaracharya specified Prapti Sahinite Kale Marane. Death will catch you, your grammar will not save you. You fools, please become Krishna conscious. Thank you, Mataji Hare Krishna. Okay, so did we have everyone read? Shreyan, did you read? No, Mataji. Okay, Shreyan, go ahead. 
that was the instruction of Shankaracharya, and he has especially mentioned Bhagavad Gita and the Ganges water. A little Ganges water and a little study of Bhagavad Gita will save you from many dangerous positions. Because Krishna display this displays the identifying symptoms even Shankaracharya has accepted him as Bhagavan, supreme personality of God but there are many people who do not accept wait Mataji I thought Shankaracharya was the one who gave the Mayavad philosophy yeah but then in this, yeah, but he has not refuted the existence of Krishna and he's not refuted the past tense of Krishna yeah I know okay? when he was dying he said this was but I thought he but I thought he uh, gave the Mayava at the um, philosophy. Yeah, uh, so he... actually, Shankaracharya actually came, he actually Lord Shiva himself, yeah. and he came to earth to actually purposely give a bogus oh, philosophy. Divert the population from the Krishna consciousness. So that, you know, when it is told many times, many people do not just take it as the, they always take it to the pinch of salt. So then there was a, a parallel philosophy which was given to them. So as you know, the all everything has come, wherein just people should become God conscious. Some together. This was the main thing which was uh, has come from this at least. Okay, so Mataji, uh, this uh, Mayavad philosophy is just to get people to start. Okay, yeah. Okay. Everybody has read today? Did everybody get to uh, read today? Yes. Kushi, I don't know, Kushi, I don't know why I do not see you, but I would love to see you. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll stop over here today because I guess you will have your the Madhava class will also start in a few minutes. So Everyone see to it that you keep reading and stay safe. We'll meet again tomorrow. Okay. So we'll just say our prayers. Vancha Kalpataru Besha Kripas in the Kapatu Besha Kapatu Besha Kapatu Besha Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you, everyone.